is a video abstract of Student Attitudes Towards Group Discussions, which is published in Active Learning and Higher Education. Please note the digital object identifier at the bottom. The authors on this manuscript are myself, Virginia Clinton, Assistant Professor of Educational Foundations and Research, and Allison Kelly, Assistant Professor of Psychology. Both authors are at the University of North Dakota. There is a wealth of research findings indicating the benefits of active learning techniques such as group discussions for both increasing student engagement and learning compared to passive techniques such as lectures alone. However, students often express a dislike of active learning techniques and instead state a preference to just listen to lectures. One suggestion to combat students' resistance towards active learning, including group discussions, is to inform students about the benefits. And a particular approach may be utility value interventions in which people are informed of a task or content area's usefulness or practical application to one's life. So, would telling students about the benefits of group discussions help their attitudes? Logically, it makes sense that it would, but this suggestion has not been empirically tested for its effectiveness. So, in this study, we sought out to test that idea. The course we tested this intervention with was a social psychology course. Prior to receiving any information about group discussions, students were invited to take a pre-intervention questionnaire in which they reported their preferences for individual versus group work, as well as their discomfort with group work. There were not differences in any of these measures prior to the intervention. They were then randomly assigned through the course learning management system to view the treatment, which was the utility value intervention in which they learned about the usefulness of group discussions, or the control video, which was about how group discussions were graded, and then write a short two-paragraph essay about the video that they were assigned to watch. Six weeks later, students were asked to complete a post-intervention questionnaire with the scales adapted from previous work on utility value, the usefulness of group discussions, intrinsic value, which would be how interesting or inherently enjoyable group discussions are, and cost, or the downsides. They were asked to answer both quantitative scales as well as open-ended items. As shown in the figure, the intervention appeared to be successful as students who received the intervention reported higher levels of utility value for group discussions than did students who were in the control. This did not carry over to intrinsic value as far as how inherently interesting group discussions were perceived. The responses to the open-ended items provided insight into students' perceptions of group discussions. A content analysis of the themes indicating these sources of values and costs were noted. The bottom line from these findings is that telling students about the benefit of group discussions appear to help with their attitudes towards group discussions. Students, however, in both the treatment and control saw value in group discussions based on the responses they gave in their open-ended responses. But the students in the treatment group seemed to more strongly endorse the value of group discussions than did students in the control group. Reviewing the open-ended responses, especially the perceived costs, could be very helpful to design future interventions to address how these costs are worth it when you consider the benefits of group discussions. In addition, future work examining individual differences as well as the role of group discussion attitudes in online courses is in the works. You can follow my research on this and other topics through my Twitter account, which is V underscore E underscore Clinton.